At CBF, we know that for you to change your body, you need to change your mind. Exercise and eating healthy is only part of the plan. We care about our members as we care about our family because our members become our family. It is not about competition, but support. It is not about being the strongest or the fastest, but about you defeating your negative self. It is about working together and making the task challenging and have fun. By the end, what matters is not how hard the session was, but that you take control of your mind so you can take control of your body. My name is Sandro Torres, and I'm happy you are part of our family. Welcome to Custom Body Fitness. Welcome everybody to another interview here in Custom Body Fitness. This is Sandro Torres, your health coach. And today we have Shannon Wiggs. She has been with us for almost a year, Shannon. Yeah, about eight months now. Eight months. She joined us. And she, in those eight months, she also did a challenge, which she did pretty good. What was your fat percentage when you started? Um, it was about 26%. 26? And right now at 22. That's when you started the challenge. Yeah. When you started in yeah. the beginning. Um, in the beginning, it was 33. 33. Yeah. And now you are 22, body yeah. 5%. Yeah. By the way, I didn't introduce because I have many questions that I couldn't remember. Uh, Shannon, thank you for being with us. I really appreciate you giving us the opportunity to interview you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, we want to know everything that, that you're doing to get those results. And I think one of the biggest... Uh, factors for people to get results is their motivation. Yeah. So tell me, what motivated you to call us to come and exercise and start the journey of you getting fit? Gosh, there was a lot. Um, it was kind of a personal decision for me because I, I ride horses kind of for a living, not really, but um, and I had noticed over time that my riding ability and my strength was declining really hard. How do you notice that? Um, well, to be honest, I crashed a lot. I had a lot of wrecks and it kind of opened my eyes to like notice that something was going on. Um, so tell me a little bit about that. Um, you say you crash a lot. Yeah. How, how do your strength have to do with that? Well, so I've never really like been in the workout environment. I've never had a workout plan. I was not someone that like did the gym for strengthening. I always thought that like riding my horse was my exercise, which in a way it is, but not as much as you should have. So um, I noticed over time that I wasn't doing anything to strengthen anything. And I was kind of losing my strength and my muscle um, and ability to ride. And, and my horse got some bad habits. I got some bad habits and I kept falling off. Um, and I finally fell off really, had a bad wreck one time. And it really opened my eyes to say like, hey, something's got to change here because we can't keep doing this. <laughs> Okay, and now that you notice that, that you don't have the strength to ride the horse, um, and, and now that you exercise and you, that you've been lifting weights for eight months, there is any change on those crashes? Yeah, there's been a lot. Um, I definitely notice it myself, but I think everybody that has watched me over the past eight months has noticed it. Um, people that have seen me ride before notice how much better I'm riding now. Um, so no more crashes. So there's yeah, still... no, no more crashing. No more so falling make a off. difference. Yeah, a big difference. Um, I have a lot more stamina, um, a lot more energy, and it's just easier for me to make my rides and ride my horse. And I'm not as afraid anymore either because I know that I'm strong enough to do it now. Interesting. Yeah. You know, uh, you just reminded me uh, a little bit of the conversation. Yesterday I had a conversation with a friend and she said that, that I'm, I'm, I don't do many uh, social media. I do it because I post all this, but I don't like getting to social media and start watching videos. 
um, she was telling me that, that a lot of people were making fun of the Mexican soccer team because oh. they were lifting t uh, weights uh -huh. and they were lifting very light weights and they were like really not really exercising yeah. and they were making fun to them and they said that that's one of the reasons they they don't defeat the bigger teams mm -hmm. because the bigger teams they're good they do exercise they do lift weights they yeah. do hard they go hard and the reason why i tell you that because sometimes we don't notice that we yeah. need to step up the sport that we do and strengthen our body to perform better in the sport that we do as you yeah. are riding horses yeah i definitely was under that impression for a long time i just kind of went around and i didn't have a lot of friends that did workouts or exercise either i mean most people in our you know rodeo community just think that riding horses is enough and, and maybe for some people it is but for me it wasn't nice i'm glad that that um, improved your your riding yeah now uh so that's how you started that that was a motivation they started everything yeah and now you notice those results but besides that you also transform your body right yeah tell me about that what do you think about that it was one of your goals or it wasn't at all and it just happened yeah it was definitely one of my goals um i had me being who i am and being you know a skinnier person everybody always told me i was so skinny but i didn't feel that way and so it it kind of and then I confirmed that with immersion. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, but it, it was just kind of a personal thing to realize, like, I was right in knowing that, like, my body had changed and I was noticing it because I didn't feel the same and I didn't feel good. Um, and, like, looking in the mirror, I didn't love what I saw. So it was a personal thing for me. And then on this whole journey, I've definitely – enjoyed looking at myself in the mirror again <laughs> good uh, good to hear that yeah uh, and i think that's an issue for a lot of people mm -hmm. a lot of people they look in the mirror and then they don't like what they yes. see and then that's something they they decide and in that moment like it's time to do something yeah uh now that we know the motivation the motivation started because you had a lot of crashes and you knew that you need to strengthen your body and also when um at the same time you didn't uh, like the, the way you look yourself in the mirror you know you had some fat to lose and that was the beginning yeah now that you're here and i see that you committed i mean i can see you lifting the weights uh, and i know how difficult it is to lift those weights because i do it myself so when you training out there I relate with you. I understand to the pain and discomfort mm -hmm. that you're going through, but you still push and you still transform your body. Um, let's talk about that. Tell me, what are you doing? Remember that our, our audience don't know what are you doing in the exercise to transform mm -hmm. your body. What is it that you're doing to, um, in exercise to transform your body? Um everything which i love <laughs> um everything from lifting weights to stretching to squats to gosh there's there's so many <laughs> so many things but that's kind of what i love about this is that it's like an overall workout it's not like it's not like you focus on one specific area of your body each day it's kind of an overall program every day that you come which is what i was looking for in the beginning because i had a lot of friends that would go to the gym they're like oh today's arm day today's leg day and i'm like i don't know how you keep track of that like that was never easy for me so i love that we come here there's a program it's a whole body workout every day we come and it's simple because we just walk in we read the board and that's what we're doing but yeah i love that it's like a whole body workout with weightlifting, with stretching with everything in between okay so now let's talk a little bit about you eating so tell me how you used to eat before how do you eat now and the things that you learn in the process yeah um <laughs> so when i walked in here i was eating everything i should not have been eating <laughs> which was 
good and bad. And like coming in here and doing the assessment really helped me to like see that I had terrible eating habits. Um, I think I kind of knew in the back of my head that I shouldn't be eating that. It was all processed food. It was all chocolate and junk food um, because I have such a fast metabolism that I would just need to eat all day to not be hungry, which is fine, but I was not eating the right thing. So it was really like eye opening and helpful to like sit down and go over everything that I was eating and then say, okay, this is what I can replace it with. That's a much better alternative. Um, that's going to help me feel better and, you know, just have more energy overall. Um, so I've gone through a lot of changes with the things I eat. Um, I was never a big like soda person, which was good. Um, but I cut alcohol out almost completely. Um, I still have my days. Almost completely. <laughs> I still have my days, but definitely not nearly as much as I used to, um, which which helps a lot uh, because I didn't realize how much it affects you even long term. Um, Your energy as well. Yeah. So that was a big one for me, but definitely just like the snacking, making healthier choices. Um, it's kind of fun going to the grocery store now because I get to like pick out the real food and <laughs> you seem like a weirdo, right? When yeah. you go up there and, yeah. and picking and reading and doing all that, yeah. and all people just pick up their food and yeah, person do it. and you see those people before and you yeah, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, now I'm like, I, I annoy my family because I go to the store and I'm like, what did you buy though? Like, did you read the ingredients? <laughs> like, that is bad for you. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's fun though, and it's exciting, and I can see that it helped me, which then again motivates me to go do it again, um, because I like the way I look and feel now, and I know that those choices led to it. So, so just give us give us a couple of examples of the things that you are eating now. Yeah, so now instead of like the prepackaged muffins and chocolate bars and you know the Twinkies that I used to love to eat um, now I eat like fresh fruits and veggies and um, healthier snacks um, like apples and peanut butter and I mean um, vegetables with some ranch um, I mean I make all my own breakfast now which is exciting um i've gotten into like all the different you know um like foods with better protein and more organic things um i mean so many different things like dried fruit that i always used to make fun of that literally has <laughs> one ingredient that's fruit I now eat all the time, <laughs> which is exciting. But yeah, I showed up to like a, a, a gathering one time with my dried fruit in a bag and people were like, that's gross. And I was like, no, no, you have to try this. And they all loved it. Yeah, so yeah. it's fun. I mean, it's exciting. It's new. And funny enough, like I'm kind of converting other people to healthier food now. <laughs> nice, nice. That, that's the goal, right? Yeah. That's to pass it along so other people enjoy what we enjoy. Yeah. Um, now, tell me about your thinking. How you used to think before and how you think now. I know you, throughout the process of this uh, interview, you have telling us how you change when you eat and exercise. And of course, with that, the way you think, the way you see things and so on. But can you tell us, what are you telling your mind now? What's going through your mind that you, um, now that you transform your body? Um, honestly, a lot. I, I have always been an advocate of like positive mindset for a long time, but I think coming here and doing this program and changing everything in my life has really like shown the power of that. Uh, especially in my workouts, like if it's a really hard day, I just kind of break it in half. If we're doing 12 reps, I do six at a time and then I go from there. And if you take a break, you need to take a break, like just kind of break things down into smaller bits and it's not so bad, um, that's, which has really helped me. That's interesting that you say that because I, you, we don't notice those things. Yeah. But for example. The other day I was doing jumping lunges, uh, explosive jumps, 
lunches with um, mm -hmm. 90s. Yeah. And I was doing it, and I say I'm going to do 14, only only six. If I can do six, that's enough. But I was talking in, out loud. Yeah. And usually I do six, and then I go eight, and then I, I mean, in a row, and then I go 12, and all of a sudden I did 14. Mm -hmm. But the goal was to do six. Yeah. If I do more, great. Yeah. And then one of my, one of our members overhear me, and she said, how do we do this? I usually do the same thing. Yeah. And I said, and exactly what you say, right? Yeah. Like breaking things up is help us not to look at the, in the long term that is overwhelming. Yeah. And that's how now you set up your brain to think of. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. So that's been a big thing for me. I mean, even, you know, on Saturday morning at 6 a.m. when I don't want to go to the gym, I'm like, yeah, I really don't want to get out of bed, but I know I'm going to feel better after I do it. So I'm going to go anyway. And it's, I've learned a lot about mindset from a lot of different people. And it's kind of a whole like routine of, you know that you don't want to do it, but if you tell your brain like, yes, okay, I know this is going to be hard. I know I don't really want to do it. And then you go and do it anyway. It trains your brain to do it anyway. And then it's not so hard mentally to get it done. And one of the things that you mentioned, mentioned is think about the results. Mm -hmm. Think about, I'm, I know that I'm not going to feel good. And, um, I don't want to go, but I know I'm going to feel good when I finish. Yeah. Yeah, great. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for those two tips. I mean, they, they're so helpful. Uh, there is no, I couldn't even say it better than Shannon. Shannon <laughs> did a great job. Okay. Uh, now give me a tip for a person who's starting or who has been doing it who hasn't seen results um what would be your weight loss tip um don't give up <laughs> for sure but just try your hardest to keep like a positive mindset no matter where you are or what you're doing um like one thing that i've started recently is i have like what's called i call it a positivity journal and so no matter what i'm thinking whether it's positive or negative i either change it to positive if it is negative or i write down the positive thought and just keep going with that because that trains your brain to stay positive no matter what's happening and if you're just starting out you probably won't see results right away, but that's common. Um, and don't like, don't get down on yourself because it's going to take a minute. Progress doesn't happen overnight. I definitely learned that with horses. <laughs> you can't train a horse overnight, but um, yeah, always stay positive and surround yourself with positive people. Um, I love these people. They literally, <laughs> they're great. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. Uh, I think this is one of the one of the biggest tips and great tips I, uh, I hear from somebody. Um, it's very motivating. Uh, so, uh, actually, I'm 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 getting motivated by you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, anything else you want to say? No, I don't think so. Perfect. Um, I wanna request something from you. So, no, I, I somebody said went to the rodeo oh it was karina oh yeah karina was in uh, our last interview yeah uh, she also transformed her body you can see the last interview she also is very tall she has seen great results but she said that she loved you look great with the and on the horse with american flag mm -hmm. very yeah. patriotic yeah. i love that would you mind sending us that picture yeah so we can share it here yeah Thank you. Yeah. We would love to see you there because you look amazing. Yeah. Thank you. So that's it, everybody. This interview was great. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for continuing following us. Please put into practice these tips. Um, Shannon is doing a great job transforming her body. And as you notice, it's not something quick. It's not something easy. There is no um, uh, pill. There is no program there is nothing that is easy everything that she did everything that our clients do it's hard work from the exercise to the eating to the mindset so put those tips into practice and hopefully the goal is for you to also transform your life and then transform your body with those um, habits that you are starting to get thank you so much Shannon I really appreciate it give me a hug
and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed the content offered here, then I know you will enjoy these books. These are great tools to lead you to successful weight loss, better health, and greater happiness.